Sorry. I knew you were going to say that. Sorry. How my sleep eyes, good. Well, I, I grew up on the water. I grew up fishing, you know, in remote places like Papua New Guinea. And so I've been seeing plastic in the ocean for, you know, my whole, my whole life, basically. And I can tell you firsthand that it's been getting worse and worse from the first time I sailed around the world when I was 20, so nearly 20 years ago. We didn't see that many things. And then sailing around the world last year, it's just devastating. We had the microplastic filtration system on board our boat in the last race and the data that came back was, you know, for me, pretty horrific. I think from all the samples that we took around the world, there was only two filters that came back without plastic in them. I was, I was shocked. When you're down in the Southern Ocean, it's, it's pristine. You think if you get anywhere in the world, you're gonna be able to sail in sort of plastic free water, it was gonna be down there when the closest humans are on the space station, you know. It's pretty saddening and to be able to be a part of it and actually be the one sort of changing the filters and stuff, I'm, I'm really proud of the work that we've done. We have two of the members from the Turn the Tide on Plastic team with us. You could definitely see the activation around the world and you could see the public really, really taking to it everywhere. And the more we went around the world, the more we could hear people just talking and saying things like turn the tide on plastic. Turn the tide on plastic. So when Liz on, is on board, we, the system was constructed as easy as possible, but still it's an harsh environment with lots of heavy workloads when they only sleep for four hours. You know, every two days you'd go down there and spend 10 minutes cleaning out the filters, changing the, the filters, labelling them, storing them. Sometimes it was a bit of a burden, you were tired, you wanted to go to bed. <laughs> it's all for a pretty good cause, so in the long term it wasn't too much to ask. The most unique and rare thing we've done is really this round the world with one measurement to have a really overview of a global map. So we're still sailing places that are, are quite remote and that sort of no shipping lanes really go through. You know, we're, we're trying to keep the, the message going that we're out there making a difference and trying to bring it to a bigger audience. The data is so invaluable that we're all pretty, you know, we all want to be a part of it still. The next race, it would be amazing for all the boats to be participating in the project. There was um, only two of us in the last race who were collecting data, so if the whole fleet could collect data, I mean, that would be a lot more. Eventually, we're going to know that yeah, there's plastic everywhere, so it's just going to come back to the public and the, and the corporations and the companies making a difference. And that's only going to come through education, awareness and uh, getting the word out there and sort of helping people to, to make that first step. Because once you've made it, it's, it's not that daunting.